Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'm going to cover 10 Google AdWords terms you need to know. You'll learn about customer match, attribution, bid adjustments, remarketing and more. This video is the perfect complement to my popular Google AdWords glossary. You'll find the link in the description below. And I'd love to know if you know all of the terms we cover or if there are some you've never encountered. So stick around and let me know in the comments. Let's get started. First is customer match, which allows you to upload email addresses for existing contacts as a remarketing list inside Google AdWords. You'll need a large enough list for ads to be displayed since the email addresses are matched to Google accounts and it's likely only a portion of your list will have a Google account associated with their email address. Number two is attribution. Attribution allows you to control how credit for conversions is given to the campaign, ad group, keyword, match type and device inside Google AdWords. You can choose from a range of attribution models inside your account, including last click, time decay and more. Number three is bid adjustments, which change the final bid by a percentage. Bid adjustments can be set for devices, ad schedules, locations, top content, display targeting methods, and remarketing, plus interactions in the new version of Google AdWords. If multiple bid adjustments apply to a bid, then these are combined to calculate the final bid. For example, if we have a mobile bid adjustment of plus 20% and a location bid adjustment of plus 10%, this would mean that a default bid of $1 would become $1.32 as the final bid amount. This can be calculated by turning the bid adjustments into a decimal. For this example, we'd use $1 times 1.2 times 1.1, giving us $1.32. Next is remarketing, which allows you to target people based on previous interactions with your organization. Remarketing lists can be created directly inside Google AdWords or imported from Google Analytics. Lists can then be used to show ads to particular people or to adjust your bids. Number five is CPA, which stands for cost per acquisition. CPA is the amount that you're willing to pay for a conversion action, and it's calculated by dividing the total cost by the number of conversions. Number six is close variant, which apply to phrase and exact match keywords. These match types will automatically show ads to people searching with misspellings, singular, plural, and other close variations of the keyword we are bidding on. Next is Enhanced CPC or eCPC, which is a bidding option that will automatically increase the final bid if Google predicts that a click is likely to convert. Google looks at a range of signals and uses machine learning to determine if a click is more or less likely to result in a conversion. Number eight is TrueView, which is a video ad format that allows you to pay when people watch or engage with your video ads on YouTube. The TrueView formats are TrueView in-stream ads, which are shown before, during, or after the video someone is watching on YouTube, embedded on a website, or on the Google Display Network. If a viewer chooses to skip your ad, then you are not charged. Views are counted after 30 seconds, when the video is completed if it's shorter than 30 seconds, or if someone engages with the video. And there are TrueView video discovery ads that promote your video content in the YouTube search results and as a related video. Views are counted when someone clicks to watch your video. Number nine is broad match modifier, which allows to specify a word or words within a broad match keyword that you'd like to target more precisely by ensuring the specified word or close variants are included in the search queries used to display your ads. To use a broad match modifier, you need to add a plus before the word or words. And finally, number 10 is delivery method, which allows you to choose how your budget is spent each day. The delivery method setting will also impact how your ads are shown if the campaign is being limited by the daily budget amount. The options are accelerated delivery, which tries to spend your daily budget as quickly as possible. Once your daily budget is reached, your ads will stop showing until the following day. Then there is standard delivery, which spreads your budget through the course of the day. 
On a limited budget, your ads won't appear every time people are searching, but they'll be just as likely to be seen in the morning as in the evening. Standard delivery is the default delivery method. So there are my 10 Google AdWords terms you need to know. I'd love to know if you knew all of the terms we covered or if there's some that you've never encountered before. Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. And don't forget to check out my complete Google AdWords glossary. See you next time.